through Luna and Chen now, and it also has initiation on top of that. So being able to break the base is something that's always going to be favorable to them. And I think it speaks a lot to the Alliance style, because even back when they picked Lone Druid a lot, obviously he's banned here, but when they did, it was like, we win a team fight, we get a tower, or we get two towers. They yeah. just always have that potential with every team that they pick. I really think that's a gem, because we still see in the professional levels that some teams just don't have initiation. Yeah. Like, Five last game, remaining. obviously that was not the best example because Fnatic just got thrashed on so hard. What was their initiator? Batrider. But Batrider would be countered quite hard by Earthshaker, Dazzle, and whatever else. So sometimes drafts just don't really uh, kind of come together, uh, whether you have initiation team fights or push, if you just are drafting lane by lane by lane. And that S4 sentiment of drafting works so well for Alliance that they won a TI title with it. So. If you look at the bans as well from Team Liquid, they banned three of Vulnerable Bulldog heroes. So yep. at this stage, do they kind of think to themselves, okay, we kind of know what he can pick? It does, does that affect the draft? Well, it does affect the draft, of course, because whenever you're taking away a specific player's hero pool, it's going to impact how the laning phase goes. And giving a Lone Druid to Alliance's team right now, they have no hero really to deal with it. I mean, Enchantress is the only one who can reasonably do damage to the bear. And you kind of have to be level 6 to do that. Mm -hmm. So there's going to be a huge portion in the game where he's going to be able to do more or less whatever he wants. And it could also lead into things like they're looking to pick more um, gank-type heroes, which means that the supports wouldn't be in lane. So heroes like Lone Druid and Nature's Prophet and Bounty Hunter would capitalize off that very well. Because when the supports are roaming, you can just 1v1 versus whatever safe lane hero is there and any three of those heroes would do fine Five in their 1v1 so maybe they're just looking to play it uh, a bit more Ooh. gank style yeah there's alliance a clark so there you go i mean pick. alliance uh emerald bulldog still has a couple here left in pool he could definitely play a clockwork and timber so yeah timber sauce in there as well so i, I don't think he's completely banned out in fact they're going to draft Team emerald bulldog hero last as they pick up dazzle so is it a surprise hero I don't think it is. But let's uh, let's uh, revisit the question that Shane brought up earlier. When you have Nyx Assassin going against the offlane of Luna, Dazzle, and Chen, that's pretty good, right? Like in terms of a line side, you have a mini stun, you have a range slow, and then if you have like a Furbok or a Troll, remaining. that should be enough to get the kill on Nyx Assassin. I think so. I think if you get poison touched and there's a creep through, you're pretty much dead. Yeah. Especially with blessing because of how much extra damage you're going to be doing at low levels. So I do think it's pretty terrifying for him. If he starts with boots, though, I don't really see how they could ever catch him. That's really my Team concern. Mm -hmm. Luna is like also, the second fastest character in the game. Yeah, but the Luna is not really what's going to be getting the kill necessarily because the mini stun from Lucid Beam isn't even going to be there until level two. Right. So you're going to have to hope that the Chen has a really good creep and they get like a net and a poison touch off first. And Aluna is not probably going to go boots in a safe lane against one hero. It just typically doesn't happen. So if the Nyx has boots and Aluna doesn't, sure, she's still almost as fast as him, but not quite, which means that he'll be able to outrun pretty much anything that comes out of the woods unless he gets smoked on or something. So looking at the draft for Team Liquid so far, I think there is a possibility that Slark will be going mid. Uh, back in the days, I think when Team Liquid went to China for whatever that tournament that Alliance the won. G League. G1? Where, uh, Wasn't G1? It G1? Yeah, G1, where Alliance just didn't lose a single match. Slark was the answer Ten around that time. Remaining. Slark was the answer against Batrider because Dark Pack does remove Sticky Napalm as well as Flaming Lasso and remaining. all the other Bat spells. So um, that was Team Liquid's answer to Batrider. And Batrider was a hero, like insane hero back in the day. So again, we could see Invoker mid, that's very, very normal. But uh, a safe lane invoker with Slark mid definitely will work as well. If you're safe lane invoker, are you almost forced to go Exhort? Like, is that the. You can't, you, do you think do you feel you can't go cross wex or how does it? I think people had a tendency to go exort because it, it transitions more into a hard carry type of a play style, I guess, because of the damage that you do. Cross wex isn't known for its damage output; it's known for the control that it gives you during the mid game and being able to like influence team fights in a big way. So I think people often went exort because not only does it give you that heavy physical damage damage output that a lot of carries would do anyway, but you don't have to move around a lot with it because you can just sun strike for kills. Marana, S4. Okay, right. I have not seen this before. Have did you see what they did there? They picked the Batrider first because they're automatically assuming that S is playing Batrider because he's so good at the hero. And then I don't think they thought of that part through, man. You don't think so? That's like super mega next level if they thought that. No, I mean, every time that when S uh, when Alliance drafts the Batrider, S4 plays it. Yeah. This is yeah. actually the first time. This is, this is a, oh shit, we don't have any heroes left for Bulldog. Guess you're playing Bat. I, I mean, he, there's Clock and Tumorsaw, which I think do just fine. I don't actually like Clock against Liquid's team. Okay. I think that Cogging is a death sentence against Shadow Shaman and Invoker. Fair enough. 
And, and Luna um, has a short range as well. I think the Timber Saw suffers equally because of the amount of mini stun that Lick would have. Like, if you get cold snapped, you can get Spike Carapace because he walks into melee range, Impale, Mana Burns, Hex, Shackle. There are so many ways to disable that hero, and he would have been the only frontline hero, right? Mm -hmm. And in those cases where you have to go in pretty much by yourself, you don't have another hero to buffer for you, you're eating every disable. Sure. And you will explode. So I don't really think either of them are really that viable here. I love the way uh, EGM like buys all his items. Doesn't buy any support items at all. Yeah, he just he says, you know what, Ake, okay, cut yeah. off your feet. <laughs> you don't need anything. Get a ring of protection. I mean, You'll it, be it, grand. It's quite normal because Chen was one of those heroes that can actually just buy everything in the beginning. Literally yeah. starts with no item in and be fine. Still so. has 150 gold as well. Yeah. You know what I'm actually like find it interesting is that on his courier, EGM has watched 45 international games. You think he just went back? It's like, oh, we want TI. Let's just watch all the games. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, that was good. God, I did great there. <laughs> what a foil. <laughs> uh, good stuff. I would have rewatched it. Shit. Yeah. Begins. I've never seen uh, Marana, though. Not a Yeah. I'm really interested to see how this plays out. The thing is, whenever you send Marana in a 1v1 mid, you're not necessarily looking for the Marana to win the lane. You're just looking for the Marana to get levels, maybe get some farm, go even you know, at worst. And then if you land a couple of lucky arrows or something like that, you can get very easy solo kills. Yeah, it's, it's very seldom that we see Murana do very well on the mid lane. Like, Sing Sing is about the only player I've seen do it well and do it consistently well because he just finds so many kills during the mid game. And I think Alliance S4 needs to do that because this Exhort Invoker is just going to walk all over him in the laning phase unless he gets a lot of ganks from the chance. It's all the same to me. Base damage difference between these two heroes is massive. I mean, we're talking 58 comparison to what 54 actually it's not that big i thought it was bigger than well, that well it'll, it'll be bigger so, once invoker yeah. gets yeah i mean when he second, hits yeah. when he hits three it'll be yeah. well it'll be more but four. Oh yeah that's right because um he'll learn course he'll yeah you're right you know what man when you're right you're right can't argue with shane man i yeah. actually play a lot of dota in fairness to be fair woke up at like 6 30 in the morning yeah it's not good it's not great Yesterday, I didn't know what Haste Rune did. What did you guys say? <laughs> that was actually funny. Yeah, I, you know, it happens. Both of me and Shane were looking at each other. I was like, is he being serious right now? <laughs> I don't is know what's actually, going on. Is he actually not know? Yeah. I, I, I've been told that apparently the mechanics for Dota 1 and Dota 2 regarding Haste Rune is different. So I, I think it was mm. remembering differently. Okay. But that was just an excuse, you know. Are we going with that? Yeah, sure. All right. I'll believe him. Mechanics. I'll okay. give it to him, man. Actually, if we look at the CS chart here, S4 is leading by two denies, you know, over, over Boba, which... Boba, hey, I mean, you have to wait till he gets the Forge Spirit, so... I mean, S4, you can't take anything away from him. He's, no. he's doing work right now. Well, I think it's a matter of... Um, Marana has a very smooth animation. I, I, she's one of my favorite heroes to last hit on, not because her base damage is great, but just because it feels nice to last okay. hit. That's subjective, though, isn't it? Yeah, it is, but I, I would I think that a lot of people... Way. You yeah, really I don't think, like Marana's like I, I, I feel really? it's slow. Yeah. I feel it's kind of like Clinks. You know, you know, I love it. Okay. The ball back. Clinks, Clinks is on a different. I level. think it's... her last hit. By the way, Gan coming on the mid lane yeah. here is going to be a arrow follow through Boba in a lot of trouble here. Who's going to get the first blood? Sunstrike to the courier. Drop. Courier. Oh my God, the courier is on the run. It's you, oh, got it. No. Oh my God. That's a double kill. <laughs> GG. You heard it here Bruno's first. Bruno's been called. Bruno with a two minute and thirty second. That is really like a disaster, though. Like, he wasn't even doing that well in the first place, and then he gets first-blooded. Okay, my chair just did a shame. And then the courier died. Oh, who Is needs it? a toilet paper Is now? I think you're good. <laughs> yeah, my chair just fell down. Yeah, this is definitely not the ideal start for Liquid, huh? And he I didn't mean, get the Burman shield. What, the Nyx? Yeah. I think he, um... Did he actually start with boots? Or did he start with a stout shield and then buy... I think he had to have started with boots, right? Yeah, probably bought the... Stout shield to side shop. You can buy both. That's yeah. why I was asking, because well, I didn't know if, if you he bought saved boots, money. would be able to afford a solve on tangos. No. Yeah. So yeah, he bought a shield. By the process of effing elimination. Boom, Look, you're the math guy, Lumi. You should have had that like instantly. That's just that's just logic, mm. and none of us have it except Shane. So whatever, man. It's fine. This is fine. Yeah. What is so, not fine is Boba. Like he's, yeah, he is. Yeah. Well, he's still 15 and six. He's actually uh, leading CS right now over S4, even though he's died. So it's not the end of the world for him. Sure. But it's definitely not ideal. 
The one thing that I want to talk about, though, is if we're farming a Slark versus a Marana, clearly these two heroes have two completely different things that they offer. I mean, TC is going to offer a ridiculously strong mid game. He's going to be able to create space for his team, which makes Slark function a little bit different than traditional one heroes who just kind of eat the map as hard as they can. The like anti mage or something. Yeah, he, he functions a little bit differently. So. For me, I think TC's impact on this game is going to be pretty damn important. Amro Bulldog being very greedy right now. He looks like the d double damage was denied to him by Fluff and stuff. Good micro, netted him, stunned him. But regardless, he was able to steal a lot of experience from way too What's cool. this stuff? He has Fluff and what's this stuff like? And stuff. But what, what is the stuff? Does it have to be a specific thing? Yeah, Can it just yeah. be stuff? Yeah, I guess it has to be a thing, yeah. Because everyone's going to have stuff as, you know, their own perception of what stuff is. So... But what's his stuff? I don't know, you have to ask him. My stuff is different than his stuff. I'll get on now. There you go. It's fucking deep, guys. Next time on Ace RG, you can find out his stuff. He bought a flying car, <laughs> but there's no walking car. Hey, man. Next <laughs> level. I mean, it's going to be respawning soon, yeah. so you might as well buy it. And you never know if you're going to randomly get ganked, and then you lose the money, and then all of a sudden you can't upgrade the courier. Although I guess that's kind of unlikely as a jungler. More likely as a support. Liquid Boba is about to get randomly ganked. There's, there's another smoke gank coming right in. Double Centaur is around oh, this time. Oh. oh no, is that going to be a troll? Well, there's a troll. The arrow is going to follow through the Centaur stomp. Looking pretty good. And Ake is going to get yet another kill. Well, that's that's the way to actually beat Invoker mid. Especially him. Exhort to Invoker. You can't handle it. it to be fair, of a... even if he had Ghost Walk, a single sentry into, you know, ensnare creep. But if he tornadoed, the... he wouldn't have got stumped. Uh, I guess. Yeah, he cold snapped the centaur pretty much right away. So his reaction was definitely there. I think, yeah, Quaswex would have saved him. But you also have to remember, if he goes Quaswex, he does worse in the lane against Marana because he's not going to have the base damage lead to be able to, you know, reliably outlast hit mm. the hero. Yeah. I mean, he's really just getting the opportunity to stay consistent with Bulba's farm because he keeps getting ganks. If it was just Bulba sitting here in a 1v1, he would be pulling ahead in terms of the overall farm. But since he's dead most of the time, uh, he's not uh, able to do much. Yeah, I mean, Ake right now is really doing a lot for the team. He's already poised to get a gank up on the top lane. You can see that Loda as well as uh, EGM trying to push the lane. And once the lane is pushed, here comes the Centaur as well as the Furbox. Koifa is completely oh. trapped. The Furbox clap is going to be there. The Centaur stomp on point as well. But where's Body the follow-up? Here comes the Poison Sting. And Impale is going to hit on two. The right clicks are doing so much damage. Chesapeake is going to get one kill. But here comes TC. They have the Grave here for EGM. He's still alive. They, the big bad. ultimate... Wow, TC being driven away. TC, oh, in God, fact, is going to be going down to the right clicks. Lunar's Blessing doing a ton of work. Sunstrike's going to miss as well. This is not Radiance going well. What made that 10 times worse is the fact that TC actually TP'd up and died, and now they're going to lose a tier 1. Yep. So, Dyer's you know what's really weird about that gank? Is it was mid lane here. Double Starfall is going to hit on Boba. Haste Runa on the S4. He's not going to die for it. And what a oh, snare what a coming net. out from Fluff and his stuff. That is the stuff right there. there That's what go. the stuff is. Yeah. Case closed. But regardless, I mean, S4 died there, but they got a tier one tower. It's still a big alliance lead. Yeah, for sure. I mean, the early game has been phenomenal, and Loda is already leading in CS by a decent margin, considering it's only seven minutes into the game. I mean, 51 CS at seven minutes. That's damn near perfect, if not perfect. What is it, 74? No, 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 it's 82 at 10 82. is perfect because it's two catapults. Well, in the Potato League, it's 74. <laughs> the, what? No, the Potato League, it's like 20. <laughs> well, like 15, same. but you know. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's not like super good, but TC needs to have a very good game, I think, against the kind of lineup that Alliance is running. Otherwise, you're just going to lose other map control too quickly. And I think Slark functions a lot better when he has room. And speaking of not having room, Bulldog not having a great time. Shackle's going to break. Sunstrike, I actually think, still made contact there. And uh, it's going to be a kill on Bulldog. So Liquid trying to claw their way back in. Yeah, for those of you guys who are having trouble with Slark in your pub games, one of the best ways to actually beat him is not allow him to snowball and make sure that your supports have a lot of gold. Because when the when the Slark has treads and your, your supports have boots, he is going to just walk over them. A way to actually do that is get those tier 1 towers, and so far they're doing it. S4, S4. is trying to go for that kill. Arrow oh, like right in the face. Double Star Storm, it's going to oh. hit. Your fluff. Ah, no untouchable. Sadness. I find it a little bit weird that he didn't arrow first, but I knew that he was going for the close range Star Storm to make sure that he got the double hit. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it was interesting. It worked out. Yeah. Got the job done. A DD bait, man. The DD bait. Did you see the uh, 
gift the other day? The when DK? DK DD bait? Yeah, oh my that God. was sick. That was insane. How sad. And he did, oh, he's like, like okay, Was it against a Storm Ray? Yeah, Storm So they had yeah. to perfectly lined it up? Man. It was Mushi, right? It I was think? Team DK versus, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, but I mean, Mushi is the one who baited it, right? Like he um, landed the first skill or whatever? I guess. Like a centaur that, that initiated. I, I, I don't remember who. Man, that was that was so good. Okay, so, so good. walk us through it here, Andy. Like, if you're having a very tough game for Invoker mid, where you get kills twice against you, where you lost a courier, like, what do you actually do? Especially on a hero that needs to get some kills early and experience early. I think with the kind of lineup that Liquid has, what he's going to be going for is go for the double forge spirits, group up with the Enchantress, try to force some early engagements, because we've kind of forgot about way too. I mean, he is level 6. Yeah. So if they want to drop Mass Serpent Wards and, you know, Forge Spirit and Chantress push a tower, they can definitely do that. They can also try to smoke gank, which is what they're doing now. I think going for Loda is a... It's an okay choice. He's gone Drum's Treads, so he's pretty durable. And they are smoking top, so they're going to go for him. I think this is a bit of a risk. I think just trying to push uh, S4 back mid might have been the better option. Although, Loda could have very easily TP to that lane as well. So, I mean, they're behind. They're going to go for it. Loda's really far away from the tower. Sunstrike's going to be there after the met, and they're going to get a pretty easy kill. So, pretty fortunate that he was pushed out that far. I think if he was uh, farming his own woods even, it would have been a lot harder to get that kill. But they secure it nonetheless. That was actually a very, very good smoke game because it came so fast. Like, I think yeah. Fluff just went by mid and Boba just backed up. They smoke and went top mid. There was no hesitation whatsoever. And the cool thing, like you said, once they do get the gank, double four spirit is Dyer's online. I don't think they're going to get this tier one tower. But uh, I say that, you can see that way too, or excuse me, TC is teleporting up there with the Slark. So there's a possibility that if they get one or two more kills under this tower, they could just kind of bulldoze their Dyer's way down there. Meanwhile, Arrow lands oh, on the mid lane of Man, and S4, doing what Sing does best, hit arrows and get kills. Shoot arrow, hit arrow, man. That's how it works. Dyer's and this is tier one is in a heck of a lot of trouble. This the is troll, a babies. double troll summoner, I think. Or one of them died, Radiant's but he did have two at the beginning of this push. Dyer's and safe lane tier one drops fallen. in favor of Liquid. Kind of like what you said, need to get some kills and then push towers. But they got to protect the tier one tower in mid lane as uh, EGM as well as S4. Do a little bit of pressure. Oh, that TP. Could be a little bit dangerous. Quickfa's not level six. He does not have Vendetta. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. get spotted attack. out. Centaur and Tomato going behind enemy lines here to try to stop the Karabachi over. Yeah, he does. He does indeed. And they're Radiant's actually just going to continue pushing in the top attack. lane in the meantime. So, Liquid, Radiant's they're going for two, and I think that Alliance are probably Dyer's just going to do the tower same thing. Is under attack. Oh no, they, they actually back off. At least Chen is going back in the jungle. They're going to do a little bit of paw shot here, but you know what? Way to having that mass serpent ward, they actually push quite quicker in, in short bursts. And here comes a good old Shadow Blade on TC. What do you guys think of Shadow Blade? I don't like it here. I don't like it either. I, here's the thing, right? You're going to get maybe one or two initiations with the Shadow Blade, and you're going to be like, okay, we, we, you know, we get a kill or whatever. Yeah. Now, if those kills result in towers, then it's not that bad. But most of the time, a Shadow Blade is going to get maybe one or two initiations max before it's countered every single time. And then you're never going to be able to use that item to get in. Because ideally, as Slark, you want to be able to pop your ulti when you're in the fight, or you're trying to escape because you know that's your guaranteed, hey, I'm not going to get hit by anything, especially against Alliance's lineup. They don't have any AoE damage outside of Firefly, which is very easy to dodge. So it's not like they have Lion Suns and Fissures and stuff like that where they can still kill you in your ulti. You're actually just like 100% safe. So I don't really care for it that much, but we'll see if he's able to utilize it. I mean, there's always the standard argument of, hey, you know, I'm getting Shadow Blade, that's going to put pressure on your support to get more gold and whatnot. They already but have Alliance that pressure have, with the Invoker, though. I would agree with that, but Alliance have no issues five manning. Yeah, exactly. Like, it's, it's not that big of a deal for them to go for sentries if they know they're going to be pushing as an entire team because the investment is well worth it, and most of the time they're going to push, it's going to result in towers. Yep, completely agree. That's why I'm... I don't, I don't like that item choice. I feel like you need to get a little bit tankier and beefier if you're the one that's walking in. And speaking of uh, Shadow Blades, look at Ake. He's switching a creep. Going to be going for the Dark Troll Summoner, which is going to allow him to net down that. Uh, net down that Slark and make him revealed. Koifa is uh, in the enemy jungle trying to find somebody to kill. Having a little nose. Uh oh, Fluff is going to get completely zoned out. There's a blink deck. Okay, Fluff. Not oh, sure. Quick, he wants to go for the kill. They're going to be able to pick up EGM, perhaps. Is he going to get the grave in time? He does. The Eclipse comes in from Loda, and they don't even get EGM. It's a double kill. And the arrow, arrow, arrow in the Oh, my God. 
Dyer's middle tower so, is under so oh. normally that looks very odd because you're ganking deep behind your tier two in the enemy jungle with just two heroes. But I really think they what they had in Vindra in mind is Vendetta impale into a sun strike, immediate kill and get the hell out. But that's obviously not what happened with Fluff getting caught out. Another thing about Slark is he gives the support so much like an easier time when they're anti warding. Sure. Because he can spot all the wards with his ultimate. Yeah, like it's a big, it's a big deal. It, it is to a certain extent, but I think with the lineup that Alliance is playing, they don't really care about the vision as much. Because they're as all long together. As they have, yeah, as long as they have on-demand vision for things like sentries, attack. just making sure they can see him when he shadow blades in, that's their biggest concern. Because they don't necessarily need to see if they know the liquid's just sitting on their side of the map, or they're split pushing, which is what attack. they're doing now. Like TC and Way Two are going bottom, and Alliance attack. are just going for the top tier ones. So. It's just continual trading of map Radiant's control right now. And there's going to be a teleport reaction coming in from Alliance. Massive rewards drop. Looks like it's going to be a cancel from Loda. He doesn't want to commit to that defense. I don't necessarily blame him. I think in these situations where you see the entirety of, like, you know, Serpent Wards dropped, Forge Spirits up, just sack the tower. Like, there's no reason to risk it. I mean, they still trade one for one. I mean, if you actually bait out the tower, or, uh, sorry, if you bait out the Master Open Ward, that's a fine TP. That means they can't actually pressure your tier 2, whereas you could stay on wherever you are and continue pressuring. And speaking of pressuring, look at uh, Admiral Bulldog leading the team going into the enemy jungle. They do have the Blink Dagger online, and they do see Fluff. Fluff is on the run, yes. popping the healing attendance. Here comes the Impale. That's going to hit on two. Pretty good stuff here. They're going to focus on the Admiral Bulldog. He's still alive. Where's the Grave? There's a Grave finally coming out online. Admiral Bulldog still doing a lot of work. Liquid Coifa being dragged up. He's dead. Boba in a lot of trouble in the middle. He is also dead. Team fight not going well for Team Liquid right now. It wasn't really a team fight though. Arrow cancels a TP on way too as well. They're gonna get three for one, only losing Bulldog. And all of a sudden Liquid just seem to not be uh They're going for the Necro books on Invoker to try yeah. and get back into it. Well I mean that's really the only choice that you can make. When the other team is leading you by this much and just a 15 minute game, I mean for crying out loud, Loda has treads oh. BKB Fluff. drums. Yes. Fluff is very sad right now. Fluff it's, is all it's the war of the junglers. Okay. <laughs> Although TC is nearby, so I don't really think that Ake is going to necessarily. Well, oh my oh, god, the arrow. Okay. Sadness Radiant incarnate. So if there was He's anybody. Been sing, man. That's yeah, if, you, if there was anybody wondering whether S4 could play Morana, seems like he can play it quite well. To be Radiant's honest, though, the easiest arrows fallen. are the ones where people run in straight lines. I mean, even if it's from far away, I'm not saying it was a bad arrow. I'm just saying that people who don't He had juke, vision as well. Yeah. He had the ward on the I mean, room. I don't think Fluff expected it. Oh, he definitely didn't. Yeah. See, the thing is, the arrow came from where the tree was. So he couldn't actually see there. Right. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. It was nighttime. So. Fluff is their in-game leader as well, isn't he? I believe so. So he's probably telling people what to do and all this when he's walking back to the base. Yeah. And all of a sudden, Duh! arrow to the face. All of a sudden, you just hear that noise, and you're just like, no. Uh, everybody no, knows what no, the arrow sounds like. And your right? screen kind of shakes red. So you, yeah. you know, you take damage. <laughs> you're like, no. I've had that happen to me so many times to where I've been looking away from where my hero actually is. Because, you yeah. know, sometimes you click around to look at other stuff. Yeah, have a little goose in the gander. And then uh, TC's not looking away because oh. he's just got flaming lasso. Oh, no, the impale did not hit. TC, Shadowblade's not getting him out of there. Koifa, though, is going to use his vendetta back out. No sentry on the ground. But regardless, they got TC dead for 30 seconds. And that means Alliance have a big window to actually destroy this tier. No blitz either. Lift for Liquid, so I'm, I'm assuming the Alliance either just... They're going to back and do Roshan or something, or they're going to go high ground. Roshan's not alive. It's dead. They did it. Oh, it's dead. Oh, yeah. Am I drunk? Oh, I bit. am. All right, whatever. So they're <laughs> going to get a Rax, pretty much. Big meatball. It's going to delay this a little bit further. It didn't really hit anyone. Two creeps. Get him pale. Right. Bulldog taking some damage. You can eat the mana burn as well. Oh, man, they wish they have a... Oh, okay. Oh, what a mana pause. Yeah. Let's assess this situation. Okay, so here's my, my two cents, okay? If they lose this Rax, there's pretty much, I would say, 0% chance that they can win. Zero. Maybe one. Give them one. Give them two. I'll give them one. I, I'm giving them two. I'll give them one. It's like okay. a Staff Cup game. We were like 45-0. and 0. I gave them one. That's what I'm going to do here. Okay. You know, in that Staff Cup, even though we, when I say we, just the four of us, right. play really well. Wait, wait. Isn't, it, isn't there five gave people up. on the team? Yeah, that other one guy yeah. sucks. Who, so. who was that? James huh? lost safe lane against a Wisp as Kendra He was 2 and 16, man. Yeah. It's two hard. No, the Wisp put, shoots balls at you. It's pretty hard. 
I have to say though, the like nobody was complaining to each other. We were like, okay, here's what we need to do, right? We need to farm a hex on Enchantress. Didn't get there, unfortunately. We <laughs> need we need you to tank it up in the front line, buy bags and shit. Like we had everything planned. Didn't happen. Anyways, back in the game. It oh. fell flat, yeah. yeah. It was a good story though, I liked it. I was Radiant's in it. I was in it to win it. So the tier three drops. S4 gets it. Load is pretty low. Yeah, I mean he's pretty low, but I, just, I don't think he necessarily oh, earned, yeah, earned he doesn't I'm gonna just slowly poke away at this uh, Rax and those Glaive. Dyer's not exactly at that OP Glaive moment yet. Oh, arrow. There. Hits on TC. Oh, Flame Breaks there as well. Mm. Doing quite a bit of damage. I think Loda wanted to go for the Illusion Beam, but he couldn't get it. They're gonna get the uh, Pounce I and the Aegis. Okay, Ooh. pretty good. Impetus doing some damage to Ake. Loda's coming up again in a second. He still has BKB. I think they want to try to commit to this very aggressive leap coming out from S4. I don't know what... I, I feel like he wanted to try to get a double Star Storm again, but he just leapt in the wrong direction, so... Melee Rack still taking some damage. Okay, if they could get a good Impel right now, there's a Meteor back online, but unfortunately the Rax is going to be going down. TC cannot decide whether he wants to go in or not, and that's going to be the Rax. Yeah, this is kind of expected. After they use the Glyph, it's just like, what do you really do? I mean... Radiant's bottom tower. How do you commit to a fight? Sark is very weak against these kind of lineups that five man mm -hmm. pretty early. He wants to pick off the supports. And so. the thing is, since the middle lane went so badly for Liquid, they had no one to even make space for TC. It was more like, hey, TP top, we're getting dope. Oh, sorry, you died too. The TC Suddenly, was trying to make space for the team. Yeah, he's 0 2 0. Like, he's attack. on my team. It's not been it's, fantastic. Are we in negative points here? I don't know. I think I could go check right now. It's there close. What are we ro what are we rocking here? Okay, so Fluff's got wait, total. Bobo's got four point six. That's respectable. TC's got one point one. Noda's got five point seven. Oh, EGM seven point seven again. What a pickle. How how does Ake has eight point one? Because they didn't gangs me. Power kills, man. And he's he four oh and six, yeah. Man. Is that is that two point one? Okay, he just bought a Vanguard. That's a Vanguard Chen. Look, man, sometimes you gotta just tank up. It's probably pretty hard Art to hold style the wand. Would be proud. Wait, you see him out on the Vanguard, is he? Artstyle loved Vanguard. Artstyle would make Vanguard to the point where I would actually get angry at him for making Vanguards. Hmm. Like, he would do Vanguard CK, and I would just lose it. <laughs> I'd be like, why did you make a Vanguard? Just make an armlet, man. Radiance bottom tower and that was way back when Armlet Toggle was still really oh, like, ridiculous. Was yeah. Vanguard was like nerfed attack. Vanguard. Yeah, Vanguard was the broken, Radiance it doesn't even block as much as it says it blocks Bonin. Vanguard. Yeah. But anyways, I mean, Chen's 4, 0, and 6. Gotta keep that streak alive. Yeah. Mm, ain't Dyer's dying here. Oh, huh? like when they get the tier 1 middle. Oh, they lose one. their tier 1, or tier 2 safe lane, excuse attack. me, in the meantime. Alright, so at this fight, they have everything online. They gotta hit a 2-3 man impale, and speaking of which, Ammo Bulldog is hovering on the side, getting flying vision with, due to Firefly, and he's getting Dyer's ready to jump. But it seems like Team Liquid is completely attack. prepared. They know, they know Ammo Bulldog is coming from south. Oh, TC. He wants to go for the engagement, possibly. He eats a losing beam, gonna heal up, pounces away. Damn, that dude. Courier just walked into the entirety of Alliance, but no one seemed fit to attack it, so it's gonna just float its little bunny way back, and... But it's gonna be up soon. And they're just slowly chipping away, and they're, I think, waiting for TC to get that one critical pounce off. Oh, Here comes right the Impale, he whips. Time to back out. Delta split time. Oh, DC, he's forced to engage. He's forced to pop the ultimate. It does find S4, but the BKB comes out from S4. Here comes the last on TC, and unfortunately, he's gonna be going down once again. Eclipse coming out from Loda, and the rest of Team Liquid just drops. Yeah, it's, it's not looking great, and there's the GG. Damn, who gets the last kill? Oh yeah, we have to check that. Oh yeah, that's right. Is it the same Marana. was Marana? S4, right? Yeah. No, I think it was Ake. No, wait, no, yeah, it was Ake. Because yeah. after Fluff died, he typed GG. Okay. So... There you go. Ake gets the last kill of Game 2 of the day. It's Ake the same story good. in this game. Again, the mid lane kind of decided the game nearly. Yeah. I think the biggest issue they had is they picked a hero who kind of needed to, like, be active but couldn't because he doesn't function again.